Welcome to this week's PvP challenge. In this episode, Link and myself will be going back in time by doing yet another area restricted PvP challenge, but this time on the Isle of Souls. In this episode, we will spawn in the Soul Wars lobby and start with absolutely nothing on our characters. No tools, no money, absolutely nothing. Soul Wars will also be off limits as it's kind of boring content and it's a little bit overpowered. Everything else is fair game. Let's hop right into it. Before we get into today's video, we are here once again to talk about Raycon's Everyday Earbuds. If anyone out there is looking for a new pair of earbuds, look no further. The Raycon Everyday Earbuds come in at around half the price as other premium earbuds on the market, and they look amazing. They sound amazing, and they're great for just about anything you do on a daily basis. There's a reason people like Snoop Dogg wear Raycons, and we all know Snoop is quite literally the coolest guy we know. The really cool thing about these is the convenience, and you can use them with whatever you're doing. It doesn't matter if you're studying, lifting weights, running, or maybe even just relaxing at home. Not only that, but they have six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, and a design so compact that I am still completely blown away by it. And for all you ROG viewers, you can have 15% off your purchase if you go to buyraycon.com slash ROG. And the link will also be down in the description, so feel free to go down there, click the link, and check them out yourself. Take a look at these. That ain't gonna fall out, guys. And there's even a 45 day return window, so even trying them out is pretty much risk free. Now let's get back to the video, but once again, one last huge thank you to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Today is gonna be a pretty crazy one. I can already sense it. I can already sense it. I've never really walked around this island too much. It is quite uninhabited. I feel like most people watching this might not even know what the fuck is on this island. So it's going to be interesting for everybody. And the twist in this episode is that we are going to be starting with literally nothing. Now we normally start with an axe, a pickaxe. And there's usually shops where you can easily buy tools because we start with 250 coins. In this episode, we start with literally nothing in our inventory and nothing in our worn equipment now there is tool spawns there are rocks there are trees so it's going to be very interesting in terms of time management to get everything together i have my entire plan down i think it is a pretty solid plan so let's start that timer guys and just freaking go for it and of course as always i will talk about my plan as we go so as i mentioned before this island is literally littered with tools and really odd spawns. The first spawn we're gonna be going for is a hammer and the next is going to be a knife. Both aren't really that far away from each other. Even everything on the island is kind of broken. There's actually a spinning wheel way up north in the island. Uh, actually, I don't need the big fishing net, but you know, see what I mean? Really, really weird spawns. But um, if we also want to use any of those like uh, potter's wheels or the spinning wheel, we do have to make it all the, um, I guess, requirements all the items needed to make those things are all on the island as well i feel like a lot of people don't even know where i am right now i'm now in the bottom right of the island southeast of it i think there's a knife spawn um i kept thinking that was it no i'm pretty sure there's a knife spawn here somewhere oh no oh no knife where are you there is is that it knife oh my gosh that blends in so well that blends in so well i don't know this island enough Hello V's and G's and welcome back to another PvP challenge. I'm sure Rog has told you all about the rules already, so no need to go over them. But we have nothing, hour and a half on the Isle of Souls. Let's just let's just go into it. As I say, I'm sure he's told you what's going on. Um, yeah, I am feeling a little bit lucky, or at least I'm going to test my RNG. Um, the dark chest and the keys that you can get. Um, it seemed to be a pretty viable way to get some uh, to get some cool armor and weapons uh, fairly early on in this challenge. Uh, we can get like magic items in terms of rooms. We can get melee stuff. We can get range stuff as well. So uh, I'm going to give it a go and see what this chest drops me. We need to get up to the dungeon uh, so that we can get down there and start thieving from the chest. And that chest then has a chance of dropping us all sorts of loot. Um, and on top of that, a dark key. That dark key can then give us like dragon items, rune items, things like that. So I'm going to give it a go, see how that works out, um, and then go from there depending on what plan it pushes out on me. So yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. So we just pick lock this chest. Oh, nature in straight away. They could be useful later on. What the fuck? What? 
I don't even, what the hell is that? Okay, apparently there's a chance to fail and get teleported out, but it only requires 28 thieving. Come on. It's definitely not going to be a like one in two thing. Uh, I think I just got very unlucky there. That's super annoying. Oh, got an Addy Scimitar. That's one in 50. One in 50. I want a few more nature runes, and then I'm pretty happy, to be honest. That Addy Scimitar was one of the things I was eyeing up and thinking, should we go for it? I mean, it's not super hard to get. Why am I getting... You can get up to 10 at once of the nature runes. That's three separate nature runes I've got, and it's been all gnats, uh, or all under one to twos, even. Uh, there's a rain up. Bloody hell, it's all going on here, isn't it? It is really all going on. But this is huge. Really, really nice to see. There's a myth axe as well. We've got an axe together. Yeah, it's sort of just potluck at the moment. Next up, we're just walking a bit north because we want to enter this dungeon. Now, this dungeon does have a lot of interesting monsters, and we might potentially hit some of these monsters. It depends on how fast or slow my plan is. But there is actually a chest right here that gives a lot of... I, I guess the best way to put it is miscellaneous items. There's a few things I want. I want to get a pickaxe, which like there also is a spawn on the island as well, but I want to get an axe there as well, as well as the main reason, 20 to 22-ish gnats, because there's no furnace on the island, and the only way we're making bars, that's it right there, the chest. So we got to walk all the way around. So the only way we're going to make bars is if we mine, superheat it, and then run to the anvil, which is on this part of the island right here down below towards the south. So this would be a lot faster with a lockpick. Ooh, Atlanta Dime. Probably can't use that. But uh, I don't think there's a way to get a lockpick on the island. You could also technically fail, which just then teleports you outside of the dungeon. It's not really a big issue aside from it just being a time waster. I wish I could do that. I think that's pretty rare. But one of the coolest things you could get here is a dark key, which unlocks another chest. And you can get some pretty interesting loot here. But of course, this is what we're here for. I think it's only like a 1 in 10 chance to get either 1 or 2 nature runes. Oh, shit. I was going to make one of those. That's so great. That just saved so much time. That just saved so much time, guys. So it looks like we just got a Renar. And there are actually these ghosts that drop... Vial of Waters, as well as Snape Grass. I think it's around the same chance as a Chaos Druid would drop it. So not the most common thing in the world, but we could potentially have a Prayer Pot by the end of this episode. And I'm not going to lie, guys. It's taken a bit longer to get these Nature Runes than I anticipated. For some reason, this chest loves giving Lanta Dimes. There we go. There's some more Nature Runes. But we still need the pick and the axe anyway, so I'm not in too much of a rush. So as you guys can see, it gives a lot of weird loot box traps it gives bird snares as well just loot all over the place we also have some feathers in case you want to make some arrows um and we did get our pickaxe so we just need some gnats and a mithril axe now and then we should be good to go and again i want like 20 to 22 of those or roughly around that and we get the axe the only thing we need now is nature runes but holy crap guys it keeps eating me out it's actually pretty common a lot more common than i thought Let's see how many loots we have. 60 chests have been opened, and I've probably been sent out a solid five times now. Probably more. Six. Six times, I'd say. But, um, looks like we've got a nice streak going right here, so I'm quite happy about that. We did get the axe, and looks like even the nature runes are flying in as well. And that's the bird snare I was talking about. Just the craziest stuff. I don't know who's filling up this chest with a bunch of weird shit in the middle of some random ass dungeon. Definitely taking a lot longer than I anticipated. Not gonna lie. Also a lot of Renars. So any Iron Men out there. Um, I've been here, what, 28 minutes? And I've gotten all these Renars if, if that's your jam. <laughs> I just got another one. No. Oh, man. This is insane. I keep getting them in ones. I think I've, I think I've, this has been f another one of these. Oh man, come on! I like if I could just get like a few more nature runes, then I'd be done, and I wouldn't have to keep wasting time here. This has wasted so much time. I'm guessing the uh, Addy Sim wasn't as crazy as I thought it was to get it that early. I mean, I've got three of them now, so. Oh man, this is wasting so much time. Right, there we go. That's everything that I need, I think, with 11 nature runes, I should be good. I'm just going to pick lock until uh, I get teleported, to be honest, guys, because it would probably take similar sort of time just to walk out. So might as well see if we can pull anything decent. There we go. Okay, I'm now going to kill Pyre Fiends 
so that we can grab ourselves uh yeah pie fiends no point doing the pie lords i don't think uh so we can grab ourselves some fire runes so that i can then go ahead and uh get myself you know the super heat together so we're gonna need a few fire runes here but if I can actually attack it, there we go. Yeah, we're going to need a few fire runes here together, but it means that we can then get some Addy Ore um, and Coal together and make some Addy Bars. Just going to go back again. We got the uh, runes really quickly, but I'm going to need 13, I think. So, uh, yeah. I want to go full Addy Warrior. I don't want to leave anything down to chance. And I think, you know, I could kill, like, lesser demons and I could go down that route, but I think it's better just to get full Addy. And then get food together and just hope he goes something like range. Because I know like getting a U short bow together would have been pretty easy. Rune crossbows possible. Addy crossbows possible. Um, so if we can go full Addy, I think that could take us the win. If he goes magic, fair play. I don't think he will. But uh, we'll see. So uh, yeah. Two more nature runes and then I'm done here. And there they are. <laughs> Brilliant. That was actually the first thing that I managed to get. And more. Wow. Um, so, yeah, again, I'm just going to keep going until I get kicked out. See if we get anything decent, like maybe a chest key. There we go. Kicked out again. Okay. Now I'm just going to get 13 Addy ores together, which should take a decent amount of time. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go down to the bottom of the island and start making this all up. There we go, guys. That is all of the Addy we're going to need. So I'm going to run out of here. Run all the way down to the bottom of the island, as I said. Um, and then, yeah, get some coal together. Get the hammer. There's a hammer spawned down the bottom. And there's an anvil. It's all going on down there. Um, and, yeah, obviously, we'll be using the super heat to make these all into bars. Whether I get a nature rune or not, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait till I'm played out again. Run back. Mine all the addy that I need. Okay, well, <laughs> right on cue. I'm going to go back. Mine all the addy I need. Or at least what I can fit right now. Uh, my inventory management is going to get rough. I could already see this happening. Although we do have a bank in Soul Wars. But it's just so far away from everything. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to hop worlds. Mine a lot of Addy Ore. Then I'm going to loot the chest till I get yeeted out again. So we just got yeeted. We have 12 Addy Ore. Now the only way to make bars is if we superheat it. And we need fire runes for that. There are some pyro fiends up here. So we're going to kill those until we get an okay amount of fire runes. It's a super common drop. So I'm really not worried. I think there's actually pyro lords up here as well as pyro fiends. But they're both a 1 in 6 drop. So we have our 60 fire runes. The mine, unfortunately, is such... A freaking long way away. It is on the other side of the island. And of course, you can't just straight line through because Soul Wars is smack in the middle. Um, so we are going to walk down there. We're going to mine all the coal that we need. This will probably take a while, truthfully. Um, which is quite nerve-wracking, in, in all honesty. Because it's going to be a big time sink. But of course, it has to be done. So hopefully, he doesn't go magic or something. Unless he gets a dark key, I don't think he'll be going magic. But then again, that might be a strat. Maybe it's just I'm going to send the chest the whole time, get a dark key or two, and just use whatever loot I got from there to then fight me. So I have no idea. I'm taking the more safe approach, definitely. I mean, I did loot 151 of them. I didn't get it. But, you know, that wasn't part of the plan. It would have been a nice extra bonus. Thankfully, we have a mithril pick because this is going a little quicker than I thought. Still very slow, make no mistake, but it is going quicker than I thought. It's annoying because I need six coal for an Addy bar, so I have to drop an Addy ore every single time I mine my sixth coal. But, you know, there, there could be worse issues in the world. But let's try to smash this ASAP. I do want to go range. I want to make... Uh, full Addy minus the shield with a chain body and bring a U short bow to the fight. I tried my hardest to think of how you can make sinew on this island. There are cows, so you can get raw beef, which of course, oh, you can't walk up that way. That's annoying. You hate to see it. Um, but you need specifically a range, not just a fire in order to, I guess, extract the sinew from the beef. So yeah, can't make a crossbow, at least to my knowledge, unless there's some other milk mp nice name so we are going down the u short bow route um we're gonna make everything we can on the anvil right now all the arrow tips we can make the arrows pretty easily after that because there's trees everywhere we have a knife so let's take care of this we want to make a full helm then we want to make a skirt because it's a little bit lighter and we will have some running around to do then we want to make a chain body and then the rest is going to go to arrow tips and i believe we make 15 per yes yeah, so we'll have 45 addy arrows for the fight which i wanted more this should be plenty but is what it is you know time is of the essence so let's chop some trees right here 
This should be super quick and we'll make the arrows and then go on to the next part of the plan. And there we go. That is everything that I'm going to need. So if we fire on over here, we should be able to grab ourselves a hammer. Lovely. And we are going to go ahead and make full Addy. Okay, there we go. Full Addy. We are going to bank this and I'm going to get myself some food together. Now, I've just realized we're actually going to have to uh, make the spinning wheel. So... Let's do this. Boom. Iron bar. Lovely. This is going to be quite interesting. I think this is quite a cool strat. It's a very good chance Kins has thought of it as well, though. But I think it's quite a cool strat. I'll just show you rather than tell you. So we're going to kill imps for a ball of wool and for a bucket is what we're looking for from the imps here. And there's uh, three or four spawns around here. There's a tinderbox. Okay. Don't you worry. <laughs> I was going to go ahead and uh, make a bow and arrow or just a bow so that I could then light logs with a bow. But we got the tinderbox straight away. It was either make the bow and use barbarian training to uh, light the logs. But it looks like we're going to be fine because we got the tinderbox. So we don't need to go through all that process that I was going to do. Uh, just down here, there is a lobster pot spawn. But I think we are going to have to run all the way around the island to be able to actually start fishing them. So, uh, yeah, a little bit annoying, but that's the way it goes. Uh, I'm probably going to have to drop all of this except the axe, to be honest. Um, I'm a little bit skeptical to drop it all, but I think I'm going to be okay. How long we got? 32 minutes. Yeah, I've got a little plan um, for if I've got enough time at the end to try and make a prayer pot. We got that radar earlier. Um, there are some ghosts up here that drop snake grass one in one, two, eight. And I think it is possible to get a vial of water, um, on the island. So we'll see, we'll see. But, uh, that's like a, a future plan to see if we can get there or not. I'm an idiot. We can get, um, swordfish. So that's what I'm going to be going for. It will take a little bit longer, but we've got the time for it. Um, and those ghosts I was talking about, they're actually called forgotten souls. They are the ones that drop vials of water as well. So... If we do get this inventory fairly quick, but it looks like we're only going to get raw tuna at the moment, um, then we can just head on over there for maybe 20 minutes or so and see if we can pull snake grass and vials of water. The vials of water are really common, so it's more the 1 in 128 snake grass that will be the issue uh, and whether we get that or not. But a prayer pot would be very, very welcomed um, if we could pull it. All right, let's make this real quick. 45 headless arrows, just the perfect amount. Attach these. And then we get Addy arrows. There actually is a myth arrow spawn here, funny enough. And that was my original plan because I didn't want to waste time getting Addy. Um, but it turns out it wasn't too bad after all. What we need is five planks, which spawn on the island. One ball of wool, hence why we are killing imps, a one in 16 drop. You actually can get it from the north side of the island. There are these, you know, those ghosts I was telling you about before that do drop them. Um, a ball of wool, one in 128, and I just figured it wasn't worth it. I probably will be still killing them at the end of the episode, but I want to guarantee that I get it, and I don't want to risk not, you know, going for my main plan, not having my main weapon. I don't want to bring an Addy Scimitar to the fight. But I also need an Iron Bar as well, and I'm mad at myself that I didn't mine it before because I just totally forgot, if I'm being honest. So that is the goal right now to actually make the Yushorpo, but I need to do all this other stuff first. And I'm getting nervous because we have 24 minutes exactly, but we are killing these relatively fast and we just got a ball of wool, baby. <sighs> Let's go mine that iron, pick up the planks. Worst part about this is the walking, man. It's definitely much bigger than you guys probably realize, the island that is. Um, it's massive, and like I said before, you always have to walk around. You can't just walk straight through it. Um, so here is the flax. So we can easily just scoop one up here, and then there is the spinning wheel that we need to craft over there. Okay, please tell me I didn't miss any of the materials. I will genuinely cry. <sighs> yes. Yes, yes, bowstring. Yes, yes, thank you. I get so nervous with little shit like this. Like if I read the wiki wrong or something. It's my biggest fear. Right, the yew trees should be down here on the west side of the island or right in front of me. That also works, you know? Pleasant surprise. See, sometimes when you have an island this big that you that you really don't know, shit like that could happen, you know? Like I'll never be in Falador and a random yew tree pops up. Impossible, but here it could happen. The joys of discovering new land. I feel like a kid again. And let's make the U short bow, add the bowstring, and we are looking sexy, I'm, I might say, you know? Check me out. Check me out. Okay, let's, uh, let's fish. Let's fish. We don't need the hammer. We don't need the knife. 
I, uh, I kind of want to drop everything, if I'm being honest. Um, because I want to fish. I have to fish. I have to fish. I can't save that till last because that'll be a giant mistake and I know that. Um, so the best fish I could actually do here is sharks, but I, there's no way to get a harpoon, to my knowledge. So I think to substitute that is to bare hand swordfish, because I don't have 96 fishing to bare hand the sharks. Um, so yeah, I know Link can't either, but I'm very scared of missing a harpoon on this island or something. Um, but even if he did find a harpoon, it would take like 20 minutes to fish a full inventory of sharks. And, you know, seeing that it took me this long to get this setup right here, I'd imagine he'd have to sacrifice other parts of his plan. Right, that is a full inventory of swordfish here. Um, as I say, gonna go over to the Forgotten Souls and just kill them for the last 16 minutes and hope to get a uh, snake grass and then we can make up the uh, the prayer potion but it's not the end of the world if we don't um, you know we can always flick piety but it's always nice to just have that little buffer um, but then again you know is it is it even worth bringing because it, it sacrifices 14 food um, and if I was just you know I actually flick properly then I guess we get an extra 14 food um, I'll make the decision if we even get it we will see there are the vials of water, so I will just juggle a piece of food and that um, and just see if we get the snake grass or not. Right, I've just gone and deposited all the swordfish. We've got, what, seven minutes, eight minutes left. Um, the vials are so common that I just was like, okay, there's no point juggling that. Um, it's going to be unlikely. Even if I had got it, I would have then had to drop two pieces of food because I thought the vials, I didn't realize they were noted. I was just going to put the rain art in there. Um... But obviously, we would have had to go back here to get the uh, Raynar anyway. So it doesn't really make any sense to uh, to have a whole inventory of swordfish because I'd have to drop two. And by the time I came back and got back there, the swordfish would have despawned. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to hope that I get it in like the, you know, four minutes or whatever we're going to have um, once I get back there. I don't think it's going to happen. And then we'll have to run back. So, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. But you know what? We've got everything we need. I'm going into battle as a full Addy champion. And uh, I think you'll probably see me uh, in the fight next. Or at least the reveals next. Because uh, the servers are super laggy. And uh, I don't think we're going to get this snake grass. Alright guys, even if I got it dropped now, uh, I wouldn't have enough time to get to the bank. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, no prayer potion. Did get two more Raynars while I was just here as well. Um, and yeah, some more vials of water. There's some more vials of water. Yeah, not going to happen unfortunately, but uh, let's go to the reveal. You guys know what I'm in. I'm in full Addy with Swordfish, so no need to really show you that. You know, seeing that it took me this long to get this set up right here, I'd imagine he'd have to sacrifice other parts of his plan. Remember when I said that sharks would probably be slower? I don't think they would be. I forgot you fucking catch tuna most of the time. Although I'm going on a big swordfish streak right here, so let's keep it up. But I'm probably going to fish about a half of inventory, cook it, bring everything to the bank, bank everything, um, except an Addy Simi, so I can then fish another half of inventory and then walk straight to the Isle of Souls with a Renar Weed and hopefully maybe make that into the prayer pot that we wanted. But of course, food is going to be more, more crucial than a prayer pot. Cool little fun fact that I learned by watching a video. You can cook on this little stupid fire right here. So, um, I mean, obviously there's other means to make fires, but it's so convenient. And little things like this when you're running around like a chicken without a head, it saves a lot of time. So, like I said, after we cook these to the bank, come back and execute that plan. I am an absolute melon head. There is a Soul Wars minigame teleport. Why didn't I use it? It's okay, I only wasted about three minutes, but it does suck, because that could have been three more minutes of, of killing Forgotten Souls. It would have been double the time. Of course, we're here to try to get snape grass. We also need a vial of water. I think there's a spawn on the top floor, but it's noted. So maybe that teleport will come in handy. If we get the snape drop before a vial of water, we pick it up, tell you to soul wars, and then, hold on, I'm gonna go up a floor. I think it's actually more up there. Yeah, they're much closer. Um, so if we get the snape grass, we could pick up the spawn, dip to the bank and make it really fast. But with two and a half minutes, We'll see. It's a 1 in 128 drop, so the odds are definitely not in our favor. I thought that was the snape grass. I must puked. Looking like our last kill, but even if we get it, there's no way we can make it. So, ah, uh, I'm just gonna scream. 
Fire battle staff. <sighs> you know. Ah, oh. What are the stats on this freaking thing? I think an Addy Scimitar is actually better because it's a tick faster. That's so funny. If it was a Mystic Staff, that would have been crazy. It's not a vial of water. It's a pestle and mortar. Interesting. Okay, I'm telling you guys, just walk around this island if you haven't been here before, and you'll be amazed at the shit you find. And here we go, guys, ready for that final fight. We have the Yushorpa with the Addy Arrows, and of course, the full Addy, but chain body instead of a plate body. What is our range attack in this setup? Plus 33. See, that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. Um, I'm a bit scared he's going to go magic, but even if he does... He probably won't have any armor on, and I'd have to take my armor off, and it would just be magic versus range, no armor, and I think I should have that fight. But of course, it depends on the spell. I mean, maybe he got lucky with a key, so maybe he got a dragon plate leg drop for all I know, you know? He could go anyway, but uh, yeah, with 45 arrows, I hope it's enough with all the zeros I'm about to hit on him, but um, I will see you guys in the fight. Link, an hour and a half on the Isle of Souls. I can't say I've ever really been on that island, but the spawns were the weirdest fucking thing on that island. <laughs> it's just like, like the mods were just like, all right, let's drop this, this, this here. And like, you can tell what they're doing. They're trying to make it like self-sufficient. Yeah, sort of, but, but like, it's like half-ass like, it's self-sufficient. It's like so <laughs> close to being really cool and loads of cool things could be made. But they yeah. were just like, nah, we won't bother. We won't bother. Yeah, and I'm looking at the chest. There's like the bird snare, the box trap. I'm like, that's so cool. And then there's just spawns of box traps and bird snares on the island as well. E even that, it's like, well, I mean, even if you get it, it's like you could get some great chin chompers or a crimson swift like surely put something <laughs> else on there you know oh i yeah. was i was hoping there'd be like those barb tailed like harpoon guys because that'd be quite a cool like thing to yeah. like be able to save yourself an inventory slot and do shark fishing or whatever you know i thought i, I don't know yeah unless it's a max efficiency self-sufficient island and then <laughs> yeah. you need like 96 fishing to uh... <laughs> I don't have 96 uh, fishing, by the way. Me neither, so. mate. Me neither. <laughs> okay, good. No, we're good. We're good. All right, Link. Let's just get right into the reveal, man. Because, right. you know, yeah. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll save the conversation for the items. Let's do cool. it. Cool. All right. Um, let's go helm, mate. Okay. You love a helm. I do. I do. I do. I'm scared. <laughs> 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 uh, Fuck. Okay. 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 <laughs> I mean, I see where this is going. Pick an item, mate. We'll see how far this is going. Legs. Please, at least, have gone the other gender. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I... <laughs> wait a sec. I'm different. Oh. I'm different. I'm different. Ooh, I'm different. Okay. I'm different. I'm I different. Think he's gone. He's gone down the uh, short bow route. I think. Yeah. Please I looked into it. Did you? Do you know the reason I didn't go for it? Let's hear it. I, I was just no thinking, idea. like, the food is going to be so shit. I'd rather have slight defense over it, but I don't know if it's going to make up for it. So I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> uh, well, all I have is a weapon, so... Me too. Me too. All right, I'm going to one go. I'm scared it's going to be an Addy Simi. <laughs> don't tell me you got an Addy Simi, but <laughs> three... Two, one, go. It's an Addy Simi. It's right. You just, I my got guy. three from the chest. Oh three. my god. Uh, what's your range defense in that fucking thing? Uh, 142. Uh, what's your slash? 102. Yeah, so that was my thought process. I was like, the food's going to be so shit. I want good defense because like it's easy to stack each other out. And that's why I went down this route rather than the, uh, the range route. Right, right, right. Okay. Unless you somehow came up with really good food. I don't know, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a harpoon spot on the island, man. Fuck off. I, <laughs> no, I checked, is it. I checked is so it. many <laughs> times. I was like, I can't, I can't let this happen. Yeah, dude. Uh, that, that, yeah. That, okay. Not to my knowledge, at least. It's probably some like mm -hmm. weird added drop to a fucking fire giant or some shit. <laughs> I, I look through everything. I don't <laughs> okay. think it's possible. Okay. Decided to go back in time a little bit and fight in our old spot in dedication of the uh, area locked PvP challenges. So hello, Link. We are here on the mound, the, the PvP mound. 
And mm -hmm. uh, Link, just let me know whenever you're ready. Give me that two-second warning, and uh, hopefully oh. we can fire right in, right on into this with no interruptions. GL, my man. GL, GL. Okay, guys, by the way, Link is also posting the exact same time that this video goes live. So, Link will be in the description after this fight. Go down, click it, and watch us again right after this one over on Link's channel. And we are not hitting, boys. We are hitting, well, we've hit one. <laughs> and yeah, guys, it was uh, Clue Scrolls and a randomizer. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting. A lot of spins. Just say that. A lot of spins. Correct. Man. Oh god, okay. It's all right. All right, it's gonna be this sort of fight. It's going to be this sort of I'm fight. I'm hoping <clears throat> I've called it right that uh the hits oh no. Come on, train him. I had a good start. Not I hitting. Good start. Link, I'm not hitting. That's what we like to hear. I'm not man. hitting! Do not hit. Oh motherfucker, come on. Come on. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> this is like a zero fest. A two? All right. Ooh, let's oh. We like them. We like them. Come on. Where's my train? Oh my god. Okay. It's gonna be a fucking yeah. Fight. This is gonna be horrible. It's gonna be fucking horrible for me. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Come on, train. Train him. I think I'm about. 20 HP ahead, I would guess. Come on. Not hitting. Okay, okay. How much does an Addy Kite Shield do for range? It's like, what, 40 or something? I have no idea. Ooh, yes, hits! Hits! Okay, eight, here we eight, go, baby. Eight, Let's go. Eight, eight, eight. There's no need to get into that fight. No need to get into it. Oh, small hits, I guess. Ooh, come on, train. <laughs> Talks about small hits. It's a 15. Oh, 11. Oh, I haven't hit in ages. Okay, we take them. We take them. And them. Mm, not really them, but... Okay, I can't risk that. I can't risk that. Risk it. Okay. Three oh. in a row. Let's go. Damn it. I just need a little Trains train. Trains are huge in fights like this. They are so big. Yeah. Legit. Especially when it's a zero fest, man. Because mm -hmm. you can and just you take it really, ahead. Like, you can't really out eat it with like 14 heals. Okay. Okay. Yes. No. Again. <sighs> Two. Come on. Pulling this back. We're pulling this back. Dude, the shittier gear, the more oh tense these God. fights are, man. I know. Oh, oh again! You, you, fucking Come hell! On. Do you want to stop hitting? No, yeah. Because we don't know which... Oh, my God. We don't know... Oh, my God. Oh. That's fucked. That's fucked. That's oh. fucked. That's <laughs> fucked. He's not happy. Oh, I, I, I have to pick... Oh, dude. That's fucked. Dude. How do I go from, from that to that? How does that happen? I feel like you're about to have your moment, though, and I'm not. I don't think so. I don't <laughs> think so. I'm not feeling it. Dude, Oh, my. You're just having from? moments left, right, and center, bro. Oh, oh fuck Oh, this off. is great. This I've is lost, great. I've lost this fight in this mid-fucking bit. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm hyped. I can't. Okay. <laughs> we gotta eat up. I'm going to eat up. we got to eat up. Yes! Oh, wow. Wow. There's 27 HP. I take off my fucking rigor, and he starts hitting me. Oh no, we're back. We're, we're, we're back at oh, it, boys. Fuck, we're back at it. Again? Oh, dude. What That's what fucked. happened? That's actually fucked. That's fucked. Oh, I'm fuming. I'm fuming. <laughs> I had not. such a good start. <laughs> Small hits, we take this those. We we definitely take those. I I'm just hitting like twos and fours and Oh, oh Link. My God. And ones! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is it's GG's. It's GG's. I don't oh think we come God. back from this. That it would have to be incredible. It would have to be out of this world. <sighs> uh, I just cannot hit now. It's like we flipped. Link, I don't have much arrows left. <laughs> <laughs> is he gonna be a punchy boy? Oh God. 
Oh, dude, if I have to resort to that, it's shit because like you could still have like three hours left, but it might not be worth using because you got to pick it up, put it back. Or I know, yeah. I know, I, I, I talked, I talked to the dude in Lumbridge. I'm on my main. Okay, oh, never mind. People, people are finally gonna be happy with you, man. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, this is not good. All right, I'm just gonna camp rigor for a bit. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm out of arrows. Uh, ooh, okay. Seventeen okay. left. Oh no, How many yeah. How did you start with? 45. Oh, God. Okay. Um, that's right. When you don't have anything in your quiver, that's what I was thinking of. So if you shoot your last arrow and then pick up the Addy, it doesn't go in your quiver. It has to match right. the ammo. Yeah, it has to match what's in That's there, what right. I was thinking of. Okay. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Little, little comeback. Wow, I'm camping rigor and you're hitting more. Tell me how this makes sense. You know, it just eats a full. Just eats a full. Oh, God, guys. Wow. We have such little... Come on, hit. Where those where those 18s, 19s are? I haven't hit over an 18, I don't think. Come on. <sighs> Come on. I, I I have to be ahead. You can't have much left. There's no way. Come on. Come on. Come on, hit! Where's the big hit? Yes. Give me a 16. Give me a give me a 16. Come on. I knew I shouldn't have dropped that last out of your man. I shouldn't have Oh, he's out. Oh, he's out! He's out! Okay, I'm How fine. many arrows? How close was I? I have nine. <laughs> oh, I feel like this happens so often. You're like, I was so nearly out of runes. I was so nearly out of arrows. And you never are? You never are. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. Oh, yes. How much food? Oh, a lot. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, GG. Eleven. The Addy right. Knight couldn't, couldn't getting... quite prevail. I'm getting payback, mate, in my episode. I'm telling you right now. We're about to fight, so... Yeah, we, we haven't fought, guys. So we're going to go do that right now. And you guys can also come with us. Come watch the video. Link in the description. And we will see you over there. Randomizer with Clues Girls. Boom.